Mr. Smithy. He, he played really nicely there early that's on. But, um, but look, that's a hell of a catch. Well, that was a great catch. We'll come back to you, Vaughn. <laughs> it was a brilliant catch, and Patrick Dooley gets the breakthrough. Yeah, he does. Just dragged away to the leg side and looking to go aerial for the maximum. Sent up the order, and McDermott, who has got a good pair of hands, he's a, he's a keeper. He's normally got the gloves on, but good technique. Soften the blow, and the Hurricanes... Couple of quick wickets, handy for them. Kurt comes and goes. Three for 91. Yeah! Oh, has he got a little feather on that? Yes, he has. It's all dooly time again. He gets his second. Silk misses out. And the Kane train is stopping at all stations. Yeah, well, they, we know that they've got to win this game. The Hurricanes and the Six has got off to a flyer. Thanks to Stephen Smith, but they've changed the batting order around and it's just upset the natural rhythm of their batting innings now, the Sixers, and they are really battling to post a decent total now. Dooley gets his second wicket. Jordan Silk didn't last long. Six for 121. That was their best effort. Now he's hit a really high ball here and taken. A sigh of relief for Patrick Dooley. He gets the third wicket. Darcy short. Safe hands and Dorshas is gone. Yeah, Dorshas, I'm not sure about his tactics. He's actually taken 18 off the over by being ah. still and just backing himself. On that one, he actually backed away to give himself room to hit through the offside. But the boundary was so short on the leg side, I think he would have had to miss hit it big time for it not to go for a boundary. But a handy knock comes to an end. 30 off 14 from Dwarshus. Sixes, seven for 155.